Here's the way it is with bipolar people. Can't get up out of the bed and contemplating whether I'm going to go to the bathroom right here in the bed. Or euphoria that I'm almost godlike. I had a manic episode here that my pals took me to Bellevue. I go to the girl, what, what's going on? You know, she says, Mr. Harrison, you checked in on a Sunday. It's now Tuesday evening. Dr. Stone says, you'll be back as I'm checking out. And I said to myself, over my dead body, and I come to be in maybe six hospitals since then. I ended up uh, being brought away to this place where first thing they do is um, deliberately close all connections. And you look through a window and you see him in virtually a padded cell by himself. And he turned to me and he said, um, he said, don't let this happen to me, mommy. And it just broke my heart, I mean, forever. We're all affected. Who among us hasn't felt the impact as a parent, friend, or relative of someone suffering from mental illness? You know, I have one of the last remaining diseases that people actually get blamed for having. For six decades, Fountain House Clubhouse International has helped countless people like Lance and Luca suffering from mental illnesses like bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, or severe depression. Its model program of social relationships and meaningful work seems simple, but the effects are profound, enabling people to recover and flourish wherever clubhouses are found. And there's a lot of stigma associated with having mental illness. You come here and you're like, well, it's okay not to be like everyone else. You know, you come here and there's a dignity. It's okay to be sick. For too many, however, there is little to hope for. People living with mental illness are often forced into homelessness, imprisonment, or asylums. They face heart-wrenching social isolation and stigma. You know right now you're worried about her identity, so we're not showing her face. What time in her life would you be more comfortable for the world to know? If somebody will come and marry her. I'm 56 years old, so when I became bipolar as a teenager, nobody had a clue. It wasn't until I was 47 that I was properly diagnosed. Just like a lot of people, we were clueless. Even though now we know there's you know, genetic depression, genetic mental illness in our family. Consider these facts. One in four families is impacted with a member that has a severe mental illness. Of the one million suicides globally each year, 900,000 are related to mental illness. This year alone, the global financial cost of mental illness will reach $1.7 trillion. There is a solution. The Fountain House model is very simple. Uh, we ask people to come in to Fountain House and join as members. We ask them to volunteer their work as part of operating Fountain House. And then in exchange for that, we will help you get a job, a place to live, uh, an education. And the friends come as a bonus, actually. It started in the 1940s at Rockland State Hospital in Orangeburg, New York. Seven patients formed a self-help group with a doctor and psychiatric aid to prepare for release into society. They met in a club room to help each other cope with the challenges of finding work, relationships, shelter, and relapse. They believed continuing the club experience would help them maintain productive lives and reduce prejudice. They founded the We Are Not Alone Society, which became Fountain House in 1948. A Fountain House social worker introduced the revolutionary concepts of the work order day and transitional employment program to help get these jobs out there and help people want to work. The work ethic is a huge thing, and I have seen nothing but awesome work ethic from the High Hopes Clubhouse. Working keeps my mind focused and helps me create goals that are reachable and attainable from, from myself. Being on the system for all these years, you know, you didn't have a chance to take trips to Boston like I do now, 
on a regular basis, let alone pay for car payments or, you know, toys like electronic devices. So um, basically to me, I'm living the best I have in years. The Fountain House Clubhouse International model has grown into a global movement. It provides a proven universal solution rooted in the human need to be needed. There are now 340 clubhouses in the U.S. and 32 other countries. Walk into any clubhouse anywhere in the world and you'll see the same whiteboard on the wall where staff and members plan their day's activities, setting goals and accomplishing them one at a time. You won't be able to tell who's on staff and who's a member. In fact, members help run the club. And the relationships that develop between members and staff are a big part of Clubhouse success. While the model may sound simple, the results speak for themselves. In the U.S., only 15% of people living with mental illness are employed. The rate for Clubhouse members is double. In addition to better employment rates, members' school completion rates exceed the general U.S. population of people with mental illness. This is the bravest group of people I've ever seen in my life, really. Um, people uh, struggle every day. Every day they struggle with this stuff, and yet they still keep plugging along. You know, they just keep plugging along. <laughs> I've kind of gotten the idea at this point of how my life should be for the next four or five years. You know, uh, I got a nice place to live, I want to get some courses, um, contribute to Fountain House. Imagine the difference having a clubhouse in every community could make. Just imagine.